Right, if you're considering buying a driver anytime soon, then I suggest you watch this video. In particular, if you think that perhaps custom fit is, uh, well, it's not very important, then watch this video. If you think that all driver heads are the same in terms of technology, then definitely watch this video. I think the message is just watch this video. So in today's video, we're gonna use two very different driver heads and try and demonstrate why, like I said, custom fit is majorly important. I've already collected dry ball data on both of these club heads and they are very, very different in how they get the ball from A to B. And not necessarily one better than the other. That's what I want to question out here on the course today. They're both Rogue ST drivers. One is the Max product, which is aimed at the mass market of average golfers, I would suggest. I've also got the Triple Diamond LS, which is a really interesting 460cc head, more compact, different spin model altogether. And like I said, there are clearly differences. They're clearly aimed at different golfers. But what happens and how do they arrive in their position on the fairway, hopefully? And how do they get there? What impacts on it? And is one better than the other for most average golfers? Right, first interesting point, because these were two of my Sunday best that you're watching right now. I can't hit the ball any better. The first ball was with the Triple Diamond LS. And that's where this one has landed. Now the, and it got there in a, in a different way to what the Max has done. The Max is here, and if you come in as close as you can, and in fact, maybe just take my word for it, otherwise that might be a bit of a struggle, the pitch mark is literally one foot behind the ball. Now we're playing in incredibly dry conditions, uh, wet conditions right now. There's probably a 15 yard difference in terms of carry where those two balls uh, finished. But the question is, what would happen in the height of summer when you're playing golf when one is spinning a lot less than the other so arguably is this ball that carries less going to end up further down the fairway than the ball that has carried further but spins more that's a big question and a big deliberation when you're buying a golf club so drives number two that you're going to see are played slightly uphill so again the low spinning model is going to struggle in terms of the launch in getting that height for the carry because it's working against the sort of slope if you like it's a really good drive again this is the ball that finished left of fairway the driver from the max was all carrying again it's probably well i would say it's probably a bigger difference maybe 15 to 20 yards further on up that right hand side much higher launch angle and there again you would have seen quite a difference in the scenario of where the balls finished up so even with the run from the ls model being or the low spin from the s model suggesting it'll scoot on a bit i'm not sure whether it would be anywhere near that max ball with the kind of spin that it's obtaining because what max does really well it's not a really high spinning model so it's a good combination of a decent spin number a decent launch angle and therefore that combination of the two is really what you're looking for and that's why custom fit is so important and obviously there are different scenarios to consider we're playing at a parkland course right now with no breeze so the high launching higher spinning max product is, isn't being impacted on in parkland golf so much but let's say you play at lynx golf you play in amongst the wind most weekends then that low spinning triple diamond well that's certainly probably more on the lower flighted driver probably the driver head that you're going to lean towards so the idea of the video is simple maybe i am stating the obvious but what i want to clearly demonstrate is that like i said technology is different in every driver head as is in the shaft and that's why i keep saying the same thing custom fit is majorly important what i want to know from you is who's believing yet that custom fit is a thing and is important and who has actually been persuaded differently from what they've seen in today's video So two shots maybe just leaked out a little bit right, uh, far from being perfect, but they again demonstrate in terms of ball flight how these things differ. The idea of today's video is to show exactly what I said in the first intro. How much difference there is in terms of driver technology from head to head. Often it's kind of scoffed at in terms of uh, technology, if that's what you want to call it. Even I've been skeptical myself of the kind of weighting systems and draw and fade bias drivers in terms of how much impact they have on performance. But it's without doubt that you can see bore out in results here on the fairway. 
totally different ball flight alone is given or gotten rather from the Rogue ST with that weight position at the back doing exactly what it should do and that triple diamond LS totally different ball flight and again aimed at a totally different golfer looking at totally different results from what they're or what they're expecting to see from their driver performance real big difference for you to see there and uh, the idea on this hole is to try and hit a little bit right to left which we've tried to do and once again playing slightly uphill so uh, again the higher launching max it's got enough height to get where it needs to be not quite managed to do that with the ls model but what you do see and hopefully you can still pick it up on the camera is just how much that ball kicks on again with the low spin so it'll be interesting when we get up there how different they are in terms of where they finish but again massive massive difference in terms of launch being the major thing that you've seen in terms of the differences throughout this video. Right, so pretty much come to the end of my video and my test really, and I really get interested personally as to how these things pan out. And I'll give you my, my verdict at the very end. But first of all, just see some dry ball data that we collected earlier on this morning. And that gives you a much clearer indication of the differences between the two driver heads and how they perform differently, exactly as you would expect. Spin number is a lot lower on that LS model, but what that means is um, if you look at the sort of carry distances, there's a big difference there and the launch angle is, a, is different as well. But it's not necessarily as obvious as that in terms of a clear winner. Yes, in terms of carry, there's a clear winner, but if you look at the overall, it's only suggested overall in Trackman, then it becomes a very close affair. And I would suggest that's what we've seen out here on the fairways, that the ball gets to A to B in different ways, but then where it actually finishes on the fairway, I don't think there'd be a great deal to split them. So it's shown for me a couple of things. Heads are different. There's no doubt about it. Technology in driver heads are different. Shafts are different. These two, I was fitted for both of these heads and interestingly got better results from different shafts and we've tried both in each. So again, for me, I don't believe in that one shaft fits all. I don't believe one head fits all. And I think that custom fit is majorly important. That's why I said at the beginning of this video, please don't buy a new driver and spend 500 pound and not get custom fit because that's the only way of optimizing results for you. And interestingly for me, I'm slightly confused in many ways because I'm not sure which I prefer in terms of my own personal setup. The Triple Diamond LS sort of sits on a borderline where I think I just about swing it quick enough to get enough launch on it to see some perhaps really interesting results and out here on the fairway it performed really really well. So I would be yeah torn between the two. Um, the Max is definitely perhaps the most forgiving and why it would favour more somebody of my ability and probably would sway it perhaps that way. But a real interesting test uh, down here at Carden Park. The rain held off. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did carrying out the test. Give me your feedback. Don't forget what your thoughts on custom fit, what your thoughts on driver technology, as your opinion changed after watching today's video. Thanks for watching. See you soon.